How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to my introduction to Python series, my 10th tutorial. We are finally in double digits and in this tutorial we are learning about lists. There are other um, ways to use collections in Python. There's a map um, also known as dictionaries and there is also um, sets. I'll get into those in a later video. Lists are more important now um, for the next tutorial which is when we start talking about loops. So we're going to start with lists but there are other ways to get collections of data in Python. So in this video we're going to go over creating lists, adding items, removing items, getting an index, iterating through a list, the length of a list, reversing the list, and then sorting the list. So let's get started. Since there is a lot I'm just going to put it to the side so I can just look over and see where I'm at. So here we go. Now this video we're not going to use a file, we're going to be back just to using PowerShell or Terminal if you're in Mac or Linux just for this tutorial. So launch Python. And first thing is creating a list. So I'm going to create a list called A and set that equal to, you open it up with a square bracket and in here I can put um, strings I can put numbers in here I can put in booleans like you can do a lot with this so for this though I am just gonna put in numbers so one two three four five and six and now when I reference A, this is our list here. So, that is how you create a list. Next we're going to go over adding items into a list. So, in this case, I'm going to add a 7 just to keep going with the trend. So, to add a list, if I want to add something to the end, I hit A dot append. And then in circular brackets, you put whichever you want to add to the list. In this case, I'm adding a number 7. And now, when I reference A, you'll see the 7's been added. Now, if I wanted to add it to a certain position in the list, it's A dot insert. Oops. And you have first which index you want to go to. In this case, I'm going to put it to the 0 index, which will be the first item. And I'm going to put the number 0 there. Now, you'll find strings operations and list operations are very similar. Um, you'll remember strings from a while back, so same way you reference stuff, same way indexing works. So zero is the first thing, one's the second. So for this, we're just going to add zero to the front of the list. And now when I look at A, you'll see zeros at the front of the list. So that is adding items. Now. If I want to remove an item now, a dot remove, and then in circular brackets you type in what you want to remove. So I'm going to put in a three, remove the three, and now the three is gone. Now, say if I put in a nine, you will get an error because that is not in the list. So it has to be in the list. So it would be a good idea just to make sure you know what's in your list because you don't want errors popping up in your program. So next is indexing. Indexing is just getting where the item is located in the list. So if I want to uh, see like if I had a high score and I had names in here, if I wanted to see which place the person was in, I could find that place using this method. So a dot index and I'm gonna put in five and the number that comes out is which place five is in in the list. So four it says that the fourth index, so this is zero index, the one index, the two index, the three index, the four index. So it is right. So that is how you figure out where in the list an item is located. Next is iterating and like strings you use square brackets and in here 
you can put uh, where you want to start. So in this case, I'm going to put 1. So start at index 1 and go up to, but not including, index 4. So we should get 1, 2, and 4. That should be what comes out. And that is what we get. And I'm not going to go over it too much because it's in the strings tutorial. If you haven't seen that, go look at it. But you can do stuff like stepping. You can do reverse order, stuff like that. So if you're not sure about iterating through a list, that exact same as doing it with a string. Go check out that video. It'll show you how to step, how to reverse order, stuff like that. So that is all we're going to do for iterating. Now, to get the length of a list, if you want to know how many items are in the list, this will play an important role in our next tutorial. You type in LEN, and then in the circular brackets, the list name. So, in this case, it should say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It should be a 7, and that is what we get. That's all there is to length. Uh, reverse. So, if we want to reverse the order of our array, A dot reverse. And now if we look at A, it is in reverse order to what it was up here. Alright. And finally, sorting. If I wanted this array sorted, so the numbers were in order, I am going to type in A dot sort. Enter. And now it is sorted in numerical order. So, that is all I want to talk about in this video. That is lists. And thank you for watching. Comment, give the video a like, and subscribe. Check out codingbasics.ca, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial.